but what disappears always has to come back one fold, two folds, a little turn of the wrist, a little snap of the fingers. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your glass of water. Thank you guys. Cheers. Man, the danger, the danger. Now guys, you saw me do these. These are three stainless steel machetes, just in case you were wondering, guys. They're not plastic or flavor or anything like that. These are real. And the danger is what I specialize in. And tonight, you guys are going to hold my fate in your hands, literally. Literally. Now, there have been magicians that have literally went to the hospital because of what I am about to do. He knows this for a fact. You can look it up if you want to. Now, we're a little limited on space here, so uh, just bear with me one second, because I need to make space for this. And uh, I chose a red tablecloth for a reason, just in case this goes wrong. Now, folks, what you see in front of you is very, very simplistic. I wanted to make it as simple as possible so you can see everything. I'm going to remove everything so nobody says that there's any trap doors or trickery. You can see underneath the table if you must. You can see on top of the table. What we got here are three paper bags. Inside of each bag is one of these block of wood with a hole inside. I want you to take a good look at that. Now, the thing is, three of these are all the same, but one of them is going to be entirely different. This is a stainless steel six inch nail. You might find it in any hardware store. Well, I don't know about any hardware store. Folks, the nail goes inside of the block of wood. Now, I must stress this I know we're all adults here, but please don't go home and try this, guys. This is real. I'm going to place it on the table like so. Now, you might notice in the center of the table we have one of these. Called a spinny thing or whatever you want to call it. The nail and the block of wood go inside of the bag. Now, folks, like I said, I'm not going to be making any of the decisions here tonight. First things first, we got to mix them up. We got to mix them up. Now, you might be saying, you know where it is. Let's take a spin. I'm not going to look. You can follow it if you want. I don't know. We're going to give it another spin. I'm not going to look. I'm going to give it another spin. Maybe you know. Maybe he knows. Maybe you guys know. Maybe I don't know. I have no idea. And just for kicks, guys, I'm going to spin it with so nobody knows. And now, the part that I hate. Here we go. Guys, please do not try this at home. That is one, two, three bags, one of them containing the spike. Now, I know what people say. I know what they say. They say that I know which bag it's in. That, that's a free choice, right? I know which bag I marked it, maybe. That's why I'm not going to be making any of the decisions. Whatever bag you name, whatever bag you name, I'm going to smash my hand over. Whatever bag you name. I'm serious. Whatever bag you name, I'm going to smash my hand If you name this bag, I'm not going to say, okay, we're going to separate these. And no. Whatever bag you name, I'm going to smash my hand over. Now remember, guys, we're doing this to not smash my hand on the nail, okay guys? We're picking the bag that does not have the nail, okay? Okay, somebody raise their hand. Let's go, guys. Let's go. I'm going to put on some, uh, let's throw a little music here just to keep the flow going, right? Why not? Now, folks, somebody raise their hand up. Somebody raise their hand up. Everybody. What do we got? Second row, sir, with the white shirt. Now, if we were to go one, two, three, and four, name a number, sir. Three. One. Do you want to change your mind? No, no. Are you sure? One. No. One. 
that's one down. Now this is a 75% chance. Now that's one, two, and three. Now you might think maybe I know this guy. Maybe I told him what to do. Somebody over here, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Right here. One, two, or three. The last one meaning this one or this one? This one. Are you sure? Somebody to come on stage. You want to help me, sir? All right. Come on up. Let's give him a round of applause. Here we go. All right. What is your name, sir? Simka. Simka. Did I get it right? Okay. Give Simka a big round of applause, guys. All right. No feedback. I got you. Check this out, guys. Now, if you had to guess what's underneath 
The purple cloth. What, do you, what would you say? What would you say? A box. a box. You're right. But what's inside of the box? No. Check this out, guys. There's 3,000 different puzzle pieces. Now, folks, I've collected these over the years. We're not going to put this together. Don't worry. I know that's people who are going to put... No. Folks, there are over 3,000 pieces. You can see every single side. No trap doors, no smoking mirrors. It is a translucent box. You can see everything as what it is. We have different colors, different sizes, different shapes. It doesn't matter. You ready? I know one fell. It always does. Here we go. Check this out. I'm going to mix them up. I'm going to give it a good mix because people may say, maybe I put the ones I want on the top. Now, did I set anything up with you before the show? I didn't pay you or anything, right? Okay. I'm just making sure because once you see the ending, you're going to say, I know this guy. Check this out. Hold out your hand like this, sir. Empty hand, empty hand, no sleeves, nothing in the watch, nothing. Simca, I want you to go inside. Now, before you do, I want to make this clear. You can take from here, you can take from here. You can take from here, you can take from here, you can take from anywhere. Go ahead. Small handful. Maybe four or five pieces. Nothing too crazy. We'll be here all night. Got him? Good job. Now, guys, if you had a guess, how many pieces do you think he took? If you had a guess, how many pieces? Seven, eight, throw them inside. Beautiful. We're going to mix them up. Give it a shuffle. Give it a shuffle. Now, guys, I'm going to go through the pieces just so you can see. We got different pieces, different sizes, different shapes, different colors. Folks, that was his choice, not mine. This is all you, this is up to you. It's up to you. This doesn't work, it's on you. I get paid by the hour. Here we go, ready? Take out a couple pieces, just a couple pieces. Just a couple pieces, a couple pieces. Take one more, take one more, why not? Get rid of them, throw them over your head. Get rid of them! Or over there, it doesn't matter. I just want to show you that they're different. It doesn't matter which pieces. Now this is important though, this next piece is important. We got about five, six, seven pieces. Name a number, one, two, three, or four? Four. Four, are you sure? You can change your mind. Okay, take out four pieces. One, two, three, four. Now remember, I said these are important, so don't throw these away. Don't throw these away. We'll get rid of the rest. Now, I want you to only give me two pieces. That's all I want you to give me. One, two. Get rid of them. Now, for the last one. This is the last one. Put one in each hand. You should have two, am I right? Now, this is very important. You are only going to give me one piece in my hand. Are you sure? How many pieces do you have left, sir? Hold it up to the sky. Folks, out of 3,000 pieces, he took out a handful. He narrowed them down to one single piece. One piece out of 3,000. Check this out, guys. Before anyone even got here, I know you're saying he's lying. I saw him walk in the building. This was here. Check this out. You know what's inside of here? It's an artist case. You know what you keep inside of an artist case, right? Well, a piece of artwork. Now, I did not paint this, guys, but I did put it together. Should we show them? It's pretty cool, right? Let's show them. Let's see what they think. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an original work of art that is not mine. It is called Wings of the World. As you can see, we got a lot of different birds there. It is a famous painting, but there's one problem, guys. One single problem. There is one piece missing. I want you to see that as close as can be. There is one single piece missing. It is not a trap door. It is nothing of the sorts. There is one piece missing in the entire puzzle. I did not tell him to do anything but take out pieces. He is left with one piece. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to even touch the piece. Simcoe, let's see how we did. Let's give him a big round of applause! Great job, buddy. That is the only piece that fits inside of that 
location. And that was him. That's not me, guys. Remember that. And now time for... Now, guys, uh, a lot of people here from New York City, right? New York City, I'm going to do something real fast. Real fast. Really, really quick because it's really, really cool. Check this out. I want to see if you guys can catch me. That's what I want to see. It's the simplest trick in the world, but nobody usually wins. You guys ready for this? All you got to do, all you got to do is tell me where the water is. That's it. This game is played on the streets in New York City, actually. You know, you never, you never win your money. Three card Monty, whatever you want to call it. Check this out, guys. I'm not using cards. If I use cards, you couldn't see it. Three cups. All you got to do is tell me where the water is. That's all you got to do. You ready? DJ, put some music on anything you want. Here we go. I got fast hands. Seen a, we've had a very long night. I got something really, really cool for the finale, but not yet. Not yet. Everyone here wants to know the secret behind the map. Who wants to learn a secret? Quick secret, guys. Take like two seconds. Check this out. I know I say check this out way too much. It's my code line. Now, folks, I'm going to teach you the secret. Don't go home and tell your friends, please. This is only for you guys. Check this out. You can teach your kids if you want. You take a red handkerchief. You say, I'm going to put it inside of my hand. Watch it closely, guys. It goes inside of the hand. Now, people say, is it going to disappear? Is it going to change color? We're going to find out. It goes all the way inside of the hand. And if you watch really closely, it actually turns into an A. Whoa. And the handkerchief doesn't go far. It jumps into my pocket. Now, who wants to learn this secret? You guys want to know the secret? Check this out. Now, you need one of these. Ooh, now he's cool, right? You can't find that on Amazon. It is a fake egg, guys. You need a fake egg, and you need two handkerchiefs. They got to be the same color, or the trick will not work. Let's start from the very beginning. You don't show this to anybody. You take a handkerchief, you put it in your pocket. You do not show that to anybody. You take the handkerchief, and the fake egg you palm, you don't show them the egg. Very important. You say, I'm going to take the handkerchief, place it into my hand. But where is it actually going, guys? In the egg. All the way inside. Don't leave any sticking out or you will not look good. All the way inside, you snap your fingers, you show the egg, you reach in your pocket, you pull out the handkerchief. There's one problem, though. What if this guy's behind you? It's going to spoil the whole trick. It's going to say there's a hole in the egg. You know what you do? You take the hole off the egg. Ah, you see? You see? The magician never reveals the secret. Now, wait a second, wait a second. If it was real magic, ladies and gentlemen, I think it would look a little something like this. tissues. Now folks, who here has heard of Harry Houdini? Harry Houdini? He's probably one of the most famous, if not the most famous, not only magician, but escape artist. And I'm going to do something here this evening that he was famous for. And that is, drum roll, the straight jacket escape. Now folks, what you see in front of you 
is what I call a regulation straitjacket. Now I know what you're saying. What does that mean, regulation? Are there different regular? Are there different straitjackets? It means it's a real straitjacket. Now, folks, this one has been through the ringer. As you can see, I probably used this for over 200 shows. It's been sewn in different places, patched in different places. But I say keep using it because it gives it a bit of character. Now, folks, I'm going to be put inside of this straitjacket. We wanted to get the crane to hang me upside down, but the hotel said no, so no crane tonight. But I know who we're going to use. Shy, where are you? Here he is. He told me he would stop me in this. Come on, Shy. Give him a round of applause. Barranquilla. here. He called me up. He said, are you going to do the escape? I said, only if you're going to be the one to help me out because I don't got nobody to help me out. They said, bring an assistant. I couldn't bring the assistant. You know, we have the whole thing, all that stuff. You're going to help me out. Here we go. Now, folks, I don't know if you ever see one of these, but these are to restrain a person that is a harm to themselves or others. Now, Hold the straight jacket, make sure it is real, give it a tug, a pull, check out the belts, the buckles, all that cool stuff. I'm gonna move this because this gets pretty animated. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. Limited on space, but we make it work, as I always say. Now, Rogue, I'm gonna need you. Let's give a big round of applause for our close-up magician for the night, Rogue. All right. Come around here, sir. Do we have a little length there? Perfect. Now, that's the button. Now, folks, get rid of this. Let's do it. As you can see, it obviously goes the other way. I'm going to turn around so you can see exactly what he's doing. If you could go on this side and please do the buckles from the top to the bottom as tight as possible. I only weigh like 135 pounds, so this should be pretty easy. As, t oh, as tight as you want. Just strap me in there. I don't want to be able to get out. I want to make it seem as impossible as possible, if that makes any sense. One more? Okay. Now wait, is there four? Did you do four? Okay, we got it. Last one we're going to be real careful with. Now. Oh, I don't want to do that one. That one we got to be real careful with though. Okay? We're just going to be real careful with this one. Okay? Just be very careful. Okay. We just got to be careful. That's all. That's all. Not too tight on that one. That, that one we're not going to go too crazy. Okay. And the last one. Shai, you're a strong guy. Check this out. Now, this is the one that locks them all in place. Now, I, I literally want you to do it as tight as, as, as tight as you can. I'm not joking. As tight as you can. As, to the last possible loop. As tight as you possibly can. I'm serious. That's all I can go. Okay. Then, then there we go. Now, folks, would you say that's fair? Yes or no? Fair? Fair? Shai, thank you so much. I would shake your hand, but... I'm a bit tied up. Let's go to the passcode on there, sir. You got it, and let's hit it. Let's turn that up. We up? Hit it again. Oh, yes, on the volume on the side.
I truly hope everybody enjoyed the show. Enjoy the rest of your evening, guys. Thank you. And...